Hi there, and welcome to Premiere Elements 13. Let's get started by learning how to do some basic video editing. The first thing we need to do is bring our video into Premiere Elements 13's organizer. Now your video can either be already on your hard drive, or it can be on the memory card of your camera. Let's do both. Over here on the top left is the Import button. Go ahead and click on Import, and choose where you want to get your video from either from files and folders, that means it's already on your hard drive, or from your camera or your card reader. Let's start off getting some video off of our hard drive, so I'll select from files and folders. When I do that, my file open dialog box shows up, and I can navigate my hard drive and find just where my video is. Once I've done that, all I need to do is click Get Media, right here on the file open dialog, and Premiere Elements will automatically import all of my media, both photos and videos, and show it to me here in the Elements Organizer. Now say you have some video on the memory card of your camera. Well, that's easy too. Back over to the same Import button on the top left, but this time choose from Camera or Card Reader. When I do that, I get a dialog box that lets me import my photos and videos off of a memory card or straight from my camera. It's as simple as selecting the memory card or camera from the list, coming down and clicking Get Media in the bottom right corner. The Elements Organizer will then import all of the media, both photos and videos, off of that camera card and bring them into the organizer here. And you can see it also filters down to show you just the stuff that you've just imported, in this case, a few pictures of my cat. If I want to see everything, well, I just click this little button right here called Back, and it'll show me all of my photos and all of my video that are being managed by the Elements Organizer. Inside the Organizer, I can quickly preview any of my photos or videos by just double-clicking on them. So say I want to see what maybe this skateboarding movie looks like. I can just come down here, I can double click on it, and then click the play button, and I can preview my skateboarding video. If I'd like to organize my photos and videos, well, that's what albums are all about. Over here on the left-hand side is our albums panel. All I need to do is click some photos and or videos. If I hold my shift key down, and click them, I can actually select more than one. And then all I need to do is click this little green plus mark right here to the right of my local album section. And that's gonna let me give this album a name. I'm gonna call this album Crystal, because that's the name of my cat. And any photo or video I had selected is already gonna be placed inside that album. Then I just have to click OK. Over on the left, I now have an album called Crystal. And when I click on it, it quickly filters down all of my photos and videos and shows me just the ones that are in that Crystal album. If I want to see everything again, well, I just click All Media right here, and all my photos and videos are shown. So say maybe I want to create another album of skateboarding. I can click on a skateboarding video clip, say this one right here. Again, green plus sign to make a new album and call it Skateboarding. and click OK. And now I've got not only the Crystal album, but I've also got a skateboarding album that lets me quickly find all of my skateboarding video. Now I've only got one skateboarding video in here, but I've actually got two in my catalog. So I'm going to scroll down to where I know the other one is. It's down here a little bit. And if I want to add it to that album, all I need to do is drag and drop. And now when I click on that skateboarding album, I've got two video clips. So I can organize my media, my photos, my videos in any way I want by just creating albums and it lets me easily find the good stuff when I'm after it later. Okay, so that's basic organization capabilities inside the Elements Organizer. Let's do some editing. So I'm gonna select that skateboarding album and I'm gonna select this video clip right here and open it up in the Premiere Elements Editor. And the way I do that is down at the bottom I just click on this little editor icon, the little right arrow to the right, and pick Video Editor. When I do that, whatever video clips I have selected are automatically added to the Premiere Elements timeline down here on the bottom. Now I'm going to start off in the Quick Edit mode. So in Quick Mode, we have our timeline down along the bottom. 
we have what's called our monitor, this big section right here in the middle, and we've got some play and fast forward and rewind buttons. If I click play, exactly what you would expect to happen happens, and my video plays. Now one interesting thing about the video editor is this little red line here, let me highlight that for you, this little red line here is called our current time indicator. I can drag this anywhere in my video and you can see up in the monitor I'm shown exactly what's underneath the current time indicator. So if I want to look at something that's going on early on in my video, I can drag it early. If I drag it towards the end of my video clip, I can see what's going on near the end. The next thing that we want to do with this video is do a little bit of trimming. So let's maybe trim off the beginning. This stuff here at the very beginning maybe is not so interesting. We don't want to see that. Trimming video is really easy. I just move my mouse right over the edge of my video clip and drag it to the right and I trim off the beginning. And you can see up in the monitor, wherever I drag the edge of my video, that is actually shown in my monitor. So I can know exactly where to stop. I want to stop right when this guy enters the scene. I let go and now my video is automatically trimmed. All that boring stuff in the beginning is gone and my video starts right when this guy enters the frame. I can do the exact same thing at the end. I just hover my mouse over the end of my video clip and drag it in, find an interesting place where I want my video to end, maybe something like right here, after we zoom in and end, and you can see the stuff after that automatically gets trimmed. So that's how I trim the beginning of my video. It's how I trim the end of my video. But what if I want to trim some stuff out of the middle? So say maybe in the middle there's some boring stuff that I'm not really all that interested in. Well, before I can trim the middle of my video, I need to split it into two different clips. So I just put my current time indicator exactly where I want to split this video into two different clips. And then right here, if I hover over the scissors and click on them, it'll take that single video clip and turn it into two. Now I can grab the end of each of these video clips and trim them any way I want. So say I want to move this one, the end of this one, a little earlier. I can just drag that end. Again, you can see in the monitor, I know exactly where I'm trimming my video clip again. I want to stop maybe there. And I want to trim the beginning of this second clip to be somewhere else in my video, maybe real close to the end when we've got the guys just kind of standing around. Something like that. Now when I play my video, I'll go ahead and play that. You can see I've got the nice stuff trimmed out at the beginning. I'm going to go ahead and advance a little bit to where we have that cut in the middle and play. And you can see we go from this clip to that clip right where we did that split and trim. Now the other thing that I might want to do is add a nice transition between these two. So right now they just cut from one to the other. Well, that's what transitions are all about. So down here in our menu bar, I can click on transitions and there are a whole bunch of different transitions that I can use. Applying one is as simple as dragging and dropping it right between those two video clips. When I drop it there, I get a pop-up dialog that gives me a couple options. How long do I want the transition to be? Do I want it to be more on the left clip or more on the right clip or centered between the clips? I'll just leave the defaults there and click done. So now let me back up a little bit. You can see when I play my video, instead of just a sharp cut from one scene to the next, I'm going to have a nice transition between the two. There we go. There's the basics. We've brought some video into the Elements Organizer. We've organized our video and our photos into albums. We've picked a clip for editing. We've brought it here into the Premiere Elements Video Editor. And we've done some basic trimming and splitting and some more trimming. When you're ready for some more, that's what Guided Edits is all about. Go ahead and click on Guided Edits, and there are a whole bunch of built-in tutorials to help you become even more familiar with Premiere Elements. And of course, once you start to become more of an expert, well, that's what the Expert View is all about. In the Expert View, you have all kinds of capabilities to really make your video shine. So there you have it, some basic getting started guidelines for Premiere Elements 13. Dive in, start to experiment with the product, and if you ever need additional tips and tricks and help, that's what Elements Live is about. Go ahead and click on Elements Live, and there are a whole bunch of additional built-in tutorials, tips and tricks for you to get the most out of Premier Elements 13. Thanks.